So this is gonna be a different kind of video, right? Um, today, this has happened before, right? But my Instagram account got deactivated. And like, I was like, ah, dude, like something told me it was gonna happen, right? I know other creators that got their Instagram accounts banned. And I was like, fuck, like, dude, for some reason in the back of my head, I was like, that's gonna happen to me. It happened to me last year. It's gonna happen to me again. And I realized, oh my gosh, we seriously create our problems. We are the reason why things happen to us, negative or positive. And it all stems from a little bit of like a bitch voice. That little bitch voice in my head two days ago told me, oh my gosh, it's gonna happen to you. And it did because I created it, I manifested it. Just like all the good in my life I've manifested, I've created, I have done all the bad as well. And it's something that like, we create everything in our fucking life, good or bad, through all these thought patterns. And I've been through seasons of winning and seasons of being the best me possible. And I've gone through seasons of being the worst me possible. And trust me, boys, my young men watching this, those seasons of winning are gonna end just like those seasons of losing are gonna end. They don't always last. There's always a winter to every summer. So you have to prepare for the winter when you're in your summer. During my prep, you guys watch my prep series, that to me was my summertime. That to me was everything was going great. I woke up, I was disciplined. I was doing everything fucking possible to be the best me. I was living my life. I was actively living. Winter time hit. I wasn't really prepared. Winter time hit me hard, guys. That's why I didn't post as much, right? I was posting sporadically. I was mentally going through a tough time because I wasn't prepared for the fucking winter. Thank God. Thank God I've been through winters and I've understood how to fucking forge my way through. This time it was bad, boys. Two, three weeks at a time I was lost. I woke up every morning fucking not sure what I was gonna do with my day. I was scared, right? I was afraid of who I was becoming. And that fear, that fear of me not knowing who I was or who I was becoming was keeping me on a lower vibration. It was keeping me fucking even more fearful and it just bred more fear. It bred more fear. It turned me into that very demon that was talking in my fucking ear. And I want you guys to also know like that voice in your ear telling you, hey, you're not good enough. You can't do that. You're not them. You're not like them. You're not, you're not that person. Why you? And I ask you, why not you, bro? Seriously, that fucking voice in your head is a demon. That is your lower self talking to you. That is not your higher self. When you hear that voice of doubt, when you hear that voice of no reason, you have to tell it to fuck off. You have to become aware of your thoughts because during that time of winter, depression, whatever you want to call it, I became unaware of those thoughts. Just like I know plenty of men are unaware of their thoughts. And this is a channel that's going to be dedicated towards men. If you don't like that, I'm sorry. Click off. This is for you, men, the viewers, young men, my age, older, younger, we all go through the same shit and we don't ever fucking talk about it. So that's why I'm talking about my, my issues, correct? Because I hopefully can help you guys. Anyway, during that season of winter of depression, I wasn't aware of my thoughts. I didn't allow myself to really think and hear that voice. Instead, I let that voice control me. You are not that voice in your head. You have a choice to tell that voice to fuck off or to invite a new voice, create something new, become something better. Tell that fucking voice that tells you you're not good enough to fucking kick rocks because that's not you. Create something better. Tell, lie to yourself. Become fucking delusional. Like really, become fucking delusional. And, and it seems like back to my Instagram being banned. I don't know if I even said that. My Instagram got banned today. Back to my Instagram being banned. That is just negative forces 
confirmation bias from the fucking demon in your head saying, what now, right? And instead of me folding, being scared, becoming something that I do not want, I'm telling that voice to fuck off. Fuck that account. If I get that account back, awesome. If not, I don't fucking care. I got YouTube. I have you guys. I want you guys to understand that no matter what position you're in, whether you're a fucking billionaire or you're a fucking janitor, we all go through the same fucking struggle, the same fucking voices in our head, self-doubt, unworthiness, or worthiness, and believing you are fucking king, what are you going to choose? It's very fucking sad that we live in a society of young men that do not have any direction. It's something that the powers above us want. Whether you believe this way or not, there is a fucking force above us that doesn't want us to act like men. They do not want us strong. They want us weak. Because a generation of weak men is controllable. It's the opposition. It's the fucking opposition. Making you fucking weak. Think of it that way. Feeding you with this fucking bullshit. Feeding you a message of over-sexuality. Shit food. Oh, it's okay. You're plenty. Lay on the couch and do nothing with your life. That's what they fucking want. Because you have power. You are all powerful. You are the creator of your own destiny. You, watching this video, you can create anything you want with your life. And they know that. That's what's so fucking scary to them. Is you have the power to become something so big. So much bigger than they ever will be. And they're afraid. They're afraid that you will realize that. There comes a time when you make that choice. Whether you're fucking 19, 25, 40. When you realize, holy shit. I have two voices. Good and evil. Which are you going to listen to? It's in every fucking cartoon growing up. The angel on your shoulder and the devil on your other shoulder. Which are you going to decide to listen to? Who are you going to become? What is it you're going to fucking thrive with? Earth is actively heaven and hell. You choose what it is. We're not going to die and go to heaven or go to hell. You choose heaven or hell on earth right now. You choose what you're going to live through. Are you going to live through heaven or are you going to live through hell? Which is it you want? And it's as easy as actively choosing. Now, steps that I would do. I'm going to make sure this is recording for the And it is good. Steps I would do that help me start choosing that good voice. It's just discipline. And it's sad because I'm going to tell you guys the truth. I haven't been that disciplined lately. I have been more... I have been the weakest I have been in the past six months, seven months. And it's because I felt the power of discipline. I felt how powerful I was. I felt who I was becoming. I looked at myself with respect. I looked at myself with someone that I knew could fucking do anything. And then it slowly faded out. Why? Why did it slowly fade out? Because I started to compromise. I started to say, it's okay. You know, I'll sleep in a little bit. I deserve to sleep in. Oh, it's fine. I won't do my cardio today. And it just fucking fed me into a fucking depression. And that's what happens. Won't happen again. Won't ever happen again. Never again. That's my breaking point. My breaking point is waking up, looking around, and not knowing who the fuck I'm going to be. What's your breaking point? When you get to that breaking point, because you will, you have to know the steps to becoming something better. Becoming something more than you are right now. Which 
If I'm gonna be honest, I don't wanna fucking hurt anyone's feelings, but majority of us aren't fucking shit. Majority of us are just, we're nobodies. I'm a nobody, you're a nobody. We're fucking nothing. All the fucking power to us, that means we can create something so fucking valuable. That means we can become anything we fucking want. You, me, any of us can do something great. Step number one is just deciding who the fuck you want to be. Who do you want to be? Do I want to be the fucking guy that wakes up late, you know, mopes into his bathroom, looks at himself in the mirror and goes, oh, I probably should get a haircut, fuck. Maybe I should shave my beard. Mm. I'll just do it tomorrow. You walk down the stairs with your head down. You're not really sure what you're going to become. You go, you get some fucking eggs out of the fridge. And you go, eggs again. Or you're going to be the motherfucker that wakes up in the morning, looks at himself in the mirror. Damn, I need to get a haircut. Fuck. I'm going to go right after I brush my teeth. You go downstairs. You get your fucking keys. You go do that fucking... You go do what needs to be done to make yourself feel good. It's that simple. That's what I'm saying. You do what needs to be done to make yourself feel good. What a crazy concept. Think about that. What a fucking crazy concept, right? Oh my gosh. What makes you feel good? Oh, I know when I go on a walk outside, I feel a little better after. Well, then go on a fucking walk, right? I'm talking to myself in this. Go on a fucking walk. When I hang out with these people, I feel good every time. Maybe, maybe, just maybe, that's your higher self telling you, hey, you should be around these people. Go hang out with them. Or are you going to just, ah, fuck that. I'm going to be alone all day. What is it you want to do? Your body, your soul, who you are, There's a fun, it has a funny way of telling you what to do with your life, how to follow the same direction, the right direction, right? And it sounds so simple because it is. What makes you feel good? Decide who you want to become. Look at what makes you feel good and feel bad. Number two. What makes you feel good is when you wake up and you feel accomplished in the morning. You wake up earlier than everyone else. That makes you feel more accomplished. Then fucking do it. When I do my cardio first thing in the morning fasted, it makes me feel really good. Then fucking do it. Cold showers in the morning. I don't want to fucking do it. So every time I do, I feel fucking great after. Then fucking do it. When I post on time, for me, when I post on social media every single day and I see my account growing, I feel fucking accomplished. Then fucking do it. Whatever it is that makes you feel good, fucking do it. Simple. Very, very simple. But for some reason, we make excuses. Step number three, don't fucking make excuses. No compromising. Do not compromise. It's very easy to convince yourself to not do certain things because it's easy. Do not fucking compromise, especially with yourself. It's funny, right? You have a friend you really, you really like, you really want to keep that friendship. You tell them, hey, I'll be there at this time. You get there at that time because you don't want to disrespect them. But when it comes to yourself, it's very easy to compromise and disrespect yourself. Why? Why? You're the only person you have in this fucking world. You're the only person you have. Why would you disrespect the only person you have? Yourself. It makes no sense in reality. Think about it. Why would I not feed myself good food? Why would I put shit gasoline in my car? Why would I not exercise to make myself feel better? Why would I not wake up early, read a book, do something to aid my brain? Because you lack self-respect. And people that are fucking weak, people that are 
fucking pussies, they're going to tell you to take a break. And especially when you start becoming something, right? Number four, tell them to fuck off. Tell the people you were moving on from to fuck off. Let's say step number four is tell them to fuck off, right? And in a sense, you're telling yourself to fuck off. Think of it in that way. When you start becoming something bigger than yourself, bigger than what you were previously, the people that are closest to you, whether that's friends, family, they start to see a different version of you and they get afraid of it, which is completely understandable, right? You're becoming something that they are not sure of. They don't know who you are anymore. And they're going to try and pull you back to being who they know you are because it's comfortable for them. Just like that's a reflection of yourself telling you, hey, maybe you should come back to this because this new you is a little scary. And if you give into that compromise, number three, right? Or number two, I freaking forgot. This is not in this is scripted, by the way. Number four, right? You give into that fucking compromise. You're giving into the the evils that want you to become nothing. The fucking opposition. Because those same fucking people that are pulling you to their level, pulling you back to your old level, that is you yourself pulling yourself to that level. Because you're allowing it. No one can force you to become something less than you fucking are. You do it to yourself. Right? You do. You fucking do it to yourself. And it's so easy to blame and become a fucking victim. Number five. You're not a victim. Don't become a victim. It's very easy to put blame To fucking say, it's them. It's not me, it's them. And you become a victim. Because it's easy. Again, we all go back to the same thing. It's easy, right? What makes it easy? When you're fucking 50, 60 years old, you look back at a life of regret. Is that easy? Is that easy for you? No, it's not. Make your future self happy. Trust me. Put some initiative into your life now. Because when you look back at a life of regret and a life of victimhood mentality, you are going to have nothing to be proud of. Your kids are going to look at you with disgust, as they should. And it's fucking sad, right? It's scary. It's scary for people to be like, oh my gosh, this is fucking scary because... Life shouldn't be this hard. It's fucking hard. And there's this person driving up to me. I, I'm, I'm going to get out of my car and tell this person to fuck off, right? I'm making this great video. <laughs> and I'm in this fucking passionate mode. And they drive up to me right now. And they're fucking like, their headlights are so close to me. And they're laughing at me, pointing. I'm going to get out of this car and go beat the fuck out of this person. But besides that, right? Besides that, I'm on step number seven. And now they're driving away. I swear to God, bro. This is the opposition. This is what I mean. When you're in a state of flow and you're in a state of creating, this shit will happen to you too. People like this, this is the opposition. You're doing something new. You're creating flow. And this motherfucker here decides to start fucking with me. That to me is a demon. That's the negative forces in your life telling you, oh my gosh, you're about to start leveling up. Let me pull you back. That is one example. Something as simple as that to me is the opposition. That's the person saying, wow, you're in flow state. Let me fuck it up. Just like maybe you're being flow state and someone in your family goes, why do you always do that? And it ticks you and it could throw you off your fucking real, your fucking train tracks so easily. You have to have a mental toughness and be fucking strong, strong enough to tell this fucking opposition to fuck off. And it's seriously just a mental note. They're still there fucking sitting there in the car staring at me. I'm still fucking talking. (laughs) <laughs> right? Why? Because I mentally told them to fuck off. Just like you have to mentally tell the opposition to fuck off. Step number eight is just have blind confidence. Like when I sat in this car, I didn't have a script. I'd had no idea of how this talk was going to go. I just sat here. 
I took a deep breath and I told myself, okay, talk. Talk from the fucking heart. Live from your heart. Live from your passion. When you're in flow state, the universe will hand you the things you need to become better and better. There will always be a, a time when you get tested. Like that car driving up to me, it was testing me. Am I gonna fold? This guy's looking at me, pointing at me with his, literally his car, his hood like this to my car, pointing at me, laughing. Like, am I gonna fucking pause the video and stop talking? No, I'm in flow state. I'm gonna tell them to fuck off, right? That was step number what, six? Tell them to fuck off. Just like right now, have blind confidence. It's because I have blind confidence in what I'm doing. I actually really believe that this is something that I wanna do. I love talking to the screen or the, the phone just like this. I love just talking. And hopefully I'm helping someone with this. And that's gonna lead me to step number eight is do things to help people, guys. When I post YouTube videos, sometimes I watch them over and I'm like, look, I like this video. Like it's a very well edited video. It's very done, very awesome. It's, it's very, it's edited well, it's shot well. I like the way I look at it, things like that. But sometimes it doesn't really resonate with me because I'm like, did it help? Did it help anyone? It got 2,000 views, cool. Who the fuck did it help? Versus a video like this, I know this is gonna help someone. I know this is gonna help you. Because if, if you lasted this long, I, I hope you got value out of this. I really do. Remember guys, when you're helping, actively helping other people, karmic debt is real and you will be given presence in the future from the universe. If, it, if you guys did get value out of this too, leave me a comment, right? Tell me this is fucking good. Tell me you guys want more of this. I don't know what the guy's name is that shoots videos like this, but I think he calls his shit aggression talks. He's shirtless in his car. He's 19. Bro, the kid is going to kill it. I said, no, no. I'm not even going to call him a kid. That's dis that kind of disrespectful. I would hate being called a kid. That young man is going to kill it. He motivated me to finally take action on something that I've wanted to do for a long time. His is called aggression talks. I don't want to sound like I'm copying, but you know what? I can give a fuck because this is going to help someone. Patty Talks, episode one. What do we call it? Patty Talks? I'm down. I will do this every other day for you guys. If you truly want this. If I get three comments of people saying this actually really helped me. Wow. I will continue to do this. Because this feels fucking good. This feels like this is my passion. You have to, uh, you have to find your passion. And if you're actively searching. Actively asking the universe for your passion trust me guys you will find it you will everyone is meant for something if you have a strong pull to play the violin play the violin because along that line you will change lives whether it's through your music whether it's through people you meet things you say there's a reason why the universe wants you to do certain things it doesn't have to be you don't have to be a weightlifter you don't have to be a Someone that wants to talk to camera and, and make content. If you want to be the best fucking contractor, the best wood maker, the best couch maker in the world, that's what you're pulled to do, do it. Don't try and do things for other people, do it for you. Because if you truly want to do it, you will get so much, so much validation out of it from yourself. This talk right now is probably going to be one of the favorite, my most favorite videos I ever posted. Whether it gets 100 views, gets fucking a billion, imagine. <laughs> it's gonna, This is gonna be one of my favorite videos because it's coming from my heart. So with that said, guys, I fucking really, I really appreciate the support. Um, I, I did go through a slight depressive stage the past few months because I was up here, discipline was up here, and then I let that fucking voice talk to me. And I didn't realize it was that voice because I was, I had been doing so good and when that voice realized, oh, he doesn't realize I'm here, it attacked me full force. And that's what it will do. But remember, whether you're going through a winter or a summer right now, there's always going to be another season around the corner. 
So if you're really depressed right now, if you're in your stage of winter, prepare for spring and be ready for summer. Just like when it's summer, prepare for the winter because you will never just have summer and you will never just have winter. Always have hope and always be ready. I love you guys. Till next video. Patty episode Patty Talks episode 1 done. Run it. Love you boys.